Hello and welcome to episode 20 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to show you how you can customize your home screen. <clears throat> so, uh, as you remember from episode 19, I showed you the basic layout of the Evernote mobile phone interface. Uh, today, I want to show you how you can actually customize this home screen, if you like, so that you can actually get to the things that you really want to do. So, first of all, uh, what you need to do is click on the gear icon in the top, and that's going to take you to your settings. And if you can, basically, in your settings, you've got your um, or your basic details there. So if you look at that, I've actually been a member of, uh, I've been using Evernote now since 2009. So that's going to mean, wow, next month is September. So I've been using Evernote for seven years uh, since uh, I first started using this. And I don't know how I would ever live without Evernote now, to be honest, because I have gone pretty much 100% paperless. Any documents that I get coming in, I will take a quick scan, get it into Evernote, and then when I process my Evernote inbox at the end of the week, I can then start adding the tags and putting it in the right notebook. But anyway, that's that's just a little bit of history there. So if the bit I want to show you today is this customize the home screen, which you can see down there in the middle of the screen. Well, if you click on that, it's going to take you to um, various uh, options here. Now let's go from the top color theme. You can change your color theme to pretty much anything you like. Uh, I generally use light actually but for the purpose of this video I've been using classic and I quite like it. Um, but if I go into light and go back and close that you can see now that the green has disappeared. The green background has disappeared and now we have the letters and words in green. If we go back in here I can now I could change that to the dark mode and let's go back to the dark mode. And as you can see, now the setting is set up in dark. I guess that's just personal preference. But let's go back to the home screen. I'm going to go back to the classic mode. Now, down there in the sec next section, which is called sections, I have options now to add whatever I want into my uh, home screen. So one of the things that I always have at the top is I want my shortcuts. Uh, let's have notebooks and let's have tags. Now you can reorder these in any order you like. Um, you can put your notes down there, notebooks, whatever. So to be honest, I like to have my shortcuts at the top uh, simply because that's where I go into uh, more often on my, on my iPhone. But you can do whatever you like. Now here you can actually add, um, like my shortcuts, I can add um, more detail if I wish. So let's just go back and I'll show you what that looks like now. So if you see here, uh, adding the more detail, it gives me my, my in shortcuts, it gives me inbox, James Bond, blah, 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 blah. Um, to be honest, I don't need that because, um, as I mentioned in my previous episode, I don't actually need, um, I don't actually need to uh, see what's in there because I'm only using really on my iPhone, I'm using it for quick entry and for uh, referencing when I need to reference it. So let's go back into the customized home screen. Uh, down there you can add uh, a show sync status if you wish. Um, so there's fairly, fairly option, fairly, quite a few options that you can have there. Uh, in general, you've just got general. Um, so again, up at the top here, show notes in today and various things that you can add, like camera, save snapshots. Um, I, I actually, I don't know why that's in my camera because I don't really want to save snapshots in my camera roll because they're already going into my... Um, Evernote, so I don't need them in my camera roll. Business cards, uh, you can actually link it to your LinkedIn <clears throat> um, and various other. I actually want to save these into my contacts, which I should have turned on. Uh, so what will take when you take a picture of somebody's business card, this will save into my contacts, which is actually what I want. Saves me having to do it at a later date. So there's quite a few options here when you go into <clears throat> into your uh, settings and I would strongly recommend that you have a have a play around with that and see what you can do um, you can also go on the getting started tour if you want um, and so there's various various things that you can do in here and um, I honestly find I haven't played around with it very much but um, because I've got Evernote set up exactly how I like it 
But it's interesting that we have the I, uh, iPhone 7 coming, which is my time for renewal because my phone's getting a little bit old now. And one of the first apps I will make sure I have on my iPhone or my new iPhone will be Evernote and obviously Todoist. Those are the two that I would have to have on my phone almost immediately because I cannot live without these applications, particularly I can carry them with me wherever I go. Incidentally, for those of you who travel a lot, particularly if you're flying from various places, the shortcuts is a great place to store your travel itineraries, tickets, documents, etc. Um, <clears throat> because then you have easy access to them as and when you require them. Anyway, I hope you found this episode useful. That was episode 20 in working with Evernote. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to get the latest tips and tricks as and when I publish them. And now it just leaves me to say have an amazingly productive week and I'll see you in the next episode.